Hello everyone, I'm Tiffany of Clarity Confidence Courage Women's Empowerment and I am so excited to talk about today's topic which is daily emotional microhealing. I'm going to talk about what it is and how it can really benefit your life. Now of course if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button, like and share this video with others that you know can benefit from understanding more about daily microhealing and how it can truly change their lives. Now, when I talk about daily emotional microhealing, I'm talking about incorporating small daily doses of healing practices into your life. The reason it's called micro is because these practices should not take a lot of time and should be used as part of a daily mental health and self-care routine. Now, micro healing can be used even if you're going through therapy, even if you're taking medication, or even if you're doing some type of large scale mental health plan. Or if you're doing none of those things, it doesn't even matter. You see, as human beings, we all face challenges in life and we all can benefit from daily doses of joy, peace and happiness to help us heal even when we perceive our issues as minor. So if you're dealing with low self-esteem, low confidence, anxiety, depression or just trying to get through a transition or a stressful time in your life, then you can benefit from daily micro healing. Some of the benefits of microhealing are that it promotes overall mental, emotional, and physical wellness. It'll help you decrease your anxiety, have a more positive outlook on life, and help you build your confidence, build your self-esteem, and give you the ability to build resistance against daily stressors. Incorporating microhealing into your life is so simple. The first step is to write in your schedule or calendar one to two times a day, every day, where you'll take just five, 10 or 15 minutes of a break. Next, you'll pick one task from the micro healing list to do during your break. You see, the point is to make sure that the task is only five, 10 or 15 minutes in length. So you don't want to take up too much time. It's supposed to be simple. It's supposed to be short and it's supposed to be quick, but effective. Now I have created a full micro healing list in my blog, which I will link in the description, but here are just a couple of micro healing tasks that you can do. Hey guys, before we move on, I just wanted to say, did you know I had a blog? Yes. Every time I do a video, I write a more detailed blog on the topic every single week on my website, cccwomensempowerment.com. My videos come out on Mondays and my blogs come out on Wednesdays. So be sure to check out my blog. The link is in the description and get on my weekly newsletter so that you can get news about all of this every single week. Now let's get back to the video. So some of the micro healing activities include mindfulness activities. These activities can be five minutes journaling. I journal every morning using the five minute journal is super simple and it's a way where I can write out my ideas, give gratitude and set my intentions for the day. Another task you can do, adult coloring. You can just do adult coloring for like five or 10 minutes. Now I know this may sound silly, but coloring has actually been found to reduce stress and anxiety. And there are so many intricate designs for adult coloring books that you can have fun with. Another thing you can do, take five minutes to burn a candle and say an affirmation. That's it, one affirmation. Affirmations are just one way to boost feelings of self-worth and self-confidence. You all have heard me talk about sand and fog candles. They smell so good. And every time I burn them and say my affirmation, I instantly feel better. Now, everything that I mentioned, the journal, the coloring book, and the candles are in the description below. If you want to click on one of my affiliate links and go ahead and purchase them so you can start adding them to your regimen. You can also do physical activities like 10 minutes of yoga, 15 minutes of walking outside or five squats. Doing a quick physical activity will help put your body in a state of movement. And when you change your physical state, it has a direct effect on your mindset. Now be sure to check with your doctor before doing any type of physical activity to make sure it's the best step for you. You can also use nutritional techniques. Again, I'm not a dietitian, so please make sure that you are talking to a professional when it comes to incorporating these things into your healthy lifestyle. Now, when I say nutritional techniques, it could be something as just taking 15 minutes to create a lunch that has whole foods. 
without all the processed foods so that you can feel better and healthier. You can start taking L-theanine. L-theanine is an amino acid found mostly in green or black tea, or you can buy it in supplement form. L-theanine has been shown to help with focus, relaxation, and ease anxiety. Guys, I take this supplement almost every day and it has definitely helped me feel more relaxed and more focused. I actually take a brand by Sports Research. This is what it actually looks like. And it's L-theanine with caffeine. And I absolutely love it. I don't think I could go a day without this. That's how good it is. I'll put the link to this brand in my description. But of course, check with your doctor before you take any supplements, as this is just my advice. Other ideas for micro healing include singing your favorite song out loud in the shower, taking five minutes to write what you're proud of yourself for, and writing on a sticky note, I love you, or just writing I am enough, then sticking that sticky note to your bathroom mirror and just reading it every morning. These are super simple ways you can incorporate micro healing into your daily life. They're short tasks that don't even require a lot of money and don't take up a lot of your time. And don't worry about trying to do all of them. Just start with one task every day. Then once you get used to doing one, add another one at a different part of your day. So for example, you may wake up, brush your teeth, and read your sticky note that says, I am enough while looking in the mirror. Then later, after lunch, you may stand near your desk and do 10 squats and 10 jumping jacks, again, just to get your body shaken up and into a state of movement and energy. The whole point is to add little increments throughout your day at different times. The idea is to be intentional about adding little injections of things or tasks that make your body and your mind feel good. Over time, these micro doses will add up and can lead to you incorporating even longer regimens into your lifestyle in order to feel better. This is how I started working out every day. I just walk a little bit every single day and before I knew it, after a few years, I started running and getting into bodybuilding. So guys, again, there's a full micro healing list on my blog. Now, I wanna repeat, I am not a doctor or a therapist, so be sure with anything that I suggest that you check with your doctor before you proceed to use my advice. Microhealing is a small yet important part of the overall healing journey, whether you've gone through a major traumatic event or if you're just facing daily small challenges. Microhealing can help you either way. It's something I've incorporated into my life and has helped me feel more satisfied every single day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, remember to hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment, and let me know what types of micro healing you plan to incorporate into your daily life. All right, guys, until the next time, bye.